The first time I was getting ready to face Jordan, I had a teammate, he goes to me and said, hey, you want some advice? Whatever you do, don't look him in the eye. Wait, excuse me? Why the hell would I not look him in the eye? I don't think my teammate understood that I'm that too. This league, here's Bryant. Wow! Michael Jordan with 36, Bryant with 33. Kobe has sent a message to everyone else that he is the future. What's going on basketball fans? My name is Josh and I am back with another video. Whenever two generational players face off, it becomes a part of history. Think Wilt Chamberlain versus Bill Russell, Magic versus Bird, Kobe versus LeBron. In this video, we are going to go back to 2003 and take a look at the time a young Kobe Bryant absolutely owned his mentor the time Jordan passed the torch to Kobe, and the final time the two greatest shooting guards of all time faced off. This will be a good one, let's get into it. So let's go back to the summer of 1996. Michael Jordan was on top of the basketball world, 4 rings, 4 MVPs, and he was back from retirement better than ever. Meanwhile, about 700 miles away, a 17 year old was preparing for one of the greatest NBA careers of all time. His name was Kobe Bryant. At 6'6", six six, the exact same height as Michael Jordan, it was almost as if Kobe was a carbon copy of the GOAT. From the same moves to the same mentality, Kobe was clearly next in line. It was clear from the beginning of Kobe's career that he wanted to be the greatest. He had the utmost respect for Michael Jordan and wanted the approval of NBA legends. Through the first few years of Kobe's career, as MJ racked up titles and accolades, Michael gained respect for Kobe. For Michael, Kobe was his younger brother. This was a relationship that very few people had with Jordan, but Kobe, deservingly so, earned it. The two mega superstars faced off 11 times over the course of their NBA careers, including All-Star Games. Kobe of course being at the very beginning of his career and Jordan at the end. But despite the age difference, they blessed NBA fans with 11 clashes of giants. The first time these two legends shared the court was in 1996. Kobe was just 18 years old and Jordan was 33. As expected, Jordan had Kobe's number. Even though Kobe had studied Jordan's game over and over again, playing against him in real life was a different beast. For a majority of Kobe's first season, he didn't see much playing time. The Lakers head coach at the time, Del Harris, favored Eddie Jones over Kobe at the shooting guard position. So Kobe only got to play 10 minutes against his childhood idol, scoring only 5 points in their first matchup. But this, more than anything, fueled Kobe. And every single time these two faced off from that moment on, became a moment of history. That brings me to March 28, 2003. Jordan had 6 rings, 5 MVPs, and was the undisputed greatest player to ever play the game. As for Kobe Bryant, he had reached the pinnacle of the basketball world not once, but 3 times, and was attempting to do something Jordan never did, a 4 -peat. And for the final time, the two greatest shooting guards in the history of our league would face off in Los Angeles, the place where it all started. But two weeks prior to this game, Jordan had some words for the heir to his throne. Earlier that season, the Wizards had defeated the LA Lakers, and Jordan told Kobe that he would never be able to fill his shoes. Whether this was a joke or not, Kobe took it personal, and I'm talking very personal. According to Gilbert Arenas, Kobe didn't talk to his teammates for two weeks leading up to this game. He was determined to make Jordan eat his words, and that's exactly what he did. He was like, yeah, he told him uh, he can copy him all he wants and do all that, but he'll never fulfill those shoes. They said they already knew Damn, that's what was about to happen against MJ when MJ came to LA. The game began, and MJ hit two quick shots back to back. Almost 30 points a game against these MJ's Lakers. first jumper, got it. Stackhouse drives, finds Jordan again. MJ's second jumper, got another one. Kobe, clearly not feeling it, got a pass from Derek Fisher and drilled a mid-range jumper shortly after. Kobe's first jumper, that's good. The very next possession, MJ hit a fadeaway over Derek Fisher and it was clear that MJ wanted to back up his words in his last game versus Kobe Bryant. 
MJ got off to a hot 4 for 4 start and then stole the ball right in front of Kobe and got the free breakaway dunk. Jordan with a steal. Well, he has really been alert defensively, especially tonight in this early going, looking for opportunities. To dunk. At this point, Kobe was fed up. He then answered with one of the greatest single half stretches of his legendary career. He scored 14 straight points in the first quarter, and Kobe did simply what Kobe does. 14 points for Kobe Bryant, and they've cut the Wizards lead from 8 to 2. But it didn't end there. Kobe caught fire and scored 28 more points in the second quarter alone. One of the greatest outside shooting performances of his career. He shot 8 for 11 from behind the arc in the first half and put up 42 points. Let me say that again, 42 points in the first half, man. Jordan on the other hand had just turned 40 that month and it was clear that he just couldn't keep up with Kobe anymore. And when I say Kobe was in the zone, he was in the zone. On this play right here, Kobe with no hesitation pulls up for three in Michael Jordan's face and you know what? Just take a look uh, seven for yourself. 12 from the field as uh, Kobe again. Oh my! But it doesn't end there. Kobe from almost the Staples Center logo just drills a deep three. Guarded by Lou. Kobe's long jumper. Oh no! He is burning down the house! Points. Is he gonna pull up from three? <laughs> Oh, come on! I mean, this night Kobe was just a man possessed. It didn't matter who was around him or who was even in the game. It was him, Michael, and the basket. We even got this famous moment when Kobe takes out Jordan and jokes with his childhood role model. This game, more than anything, was the official passing of the torch for the NBA. As one generational player retired, another was primed to carry the league for years and years to come. Kobe finished with 55 points, knocking down 9 three-pointers. Jordan, on the other hand, finished with a fitting 23 points, but just couldn't keep up with Kobe's scoring pace. Kobe was a man on a mission this night, trying to prove a point to MJ, himself, and the rest of the league. And right before Kobe scored his 55th point, MJ had this look on his face. We all know the respect MJ has for Kobe. Maybe in this moment he regretted making those comments about Kobe because clearly it didn't end well. Michael Jordan would walk away from the game just a couple months later and Kobe Bryant would go on to complete one of the greatest careers in NBA history and become a legend. Five rings, a league MVP, 20 years with one team, and an impact on the game of basketball no player has ever made. And this summer of 2020, Kobe would join forces with Michael Jordan in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Rest in peace to one of my favorite players and thank you for moments like these. I mean, Kobe Bryant was the killer of all killers. He let any form of disrespect fuel him. And I think it's little things like that that we as NBA fans can learn from Kobe's legendary career and his legendary mentality. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more content. I'm stuck in my house now for who knows how long, so let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see. But that's it for me. Till next time, peace.